Hello, welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, I'll teach you how you can get started with Earth Engine and you write your first uh, JavaScript um, um, code. Let's get started. So the first thing is you need to go to Google Earth, Google Earth Engine, and then you type in, um, you click Google Earth Engine and you go to the main um, part of the website and you go to the platform here and then you just click code editor code editor so this is a code editor a playground for the javascript um, api so earth engine has two platforms so the first one is the um the python api and the other one is the javascript um, the javascript api so here's the javascript api <clears throat> So you have this um, uh, console on the left and on the right, um, and you can drag this here. So this is the script. Um, you can save your script and then you can see it here, and then some documentation, and there's also asset here. You can save, um, upload some shape file and also um, you know, some raster. And then this is the main part of the, the playground where you can write your, your script, okay? Um, and so for example, if I write um, print hello world and then JavaScript has, um, it needs um, a semicolon and then you can run the script. You can see, um, you know, hello world over here, right? Okay, so I'll just, um, you know, comment this. So um, this is just you know for testing purpose. Um, so to get started, uh, let's write our first um, uh, example um, um, JavaScript um, code on the Earth Engine platform. And so once you finish your code, you can execute it and save it, and then you can see some of the result here on the map canvas area. You know, you can change to maps and satellites um, if you're interested. And you can change it with Google Map versus satellite um, and things like that. And then you can zoom into any area that you're interested. OK, so let's get started. So in, the, in this first exercise, what we're doing is we'll try to map import uh, digital elevation model uh, DEM um, and we'll try to create some sort of color and um, visualize, visualize that um, here in the map canvas. Okay, that, that's what we're gonna achieve in this lecture. Let's get started. So I'll try to name it as map DEM, okay? And the first thing is I'll load some country database. Uh, since I'm loading uh, global data, it will be so large that, you know, it might take time to process it slightly. So I just wanna, you know, subset it to a smaller, a uh, relatively smaller area, uh, at least a uh, country level, um, you know, data. So for that purpose, I would load uh, some countries database. And so I'll declare a variable. So the first thing you need to know in JavaScript is you need to have, you need to say like var before your prime, your uh, variable. So that's um, the requirement for JavaScript. So var that means my variable is um, countries this is just the name you can change it if you want to <clears throat> and then ee feature collection so ee feature collection will help you to <clears throat> import an existing uh, feature collection so you provide the name of that um, um, the name of that image collection uh, which I already know. So us does slash lsib underscore simple slash 2017. Okay. So don't worry about this. Um, you don't have to worry about this. Uh, I'll, I'll mention it in future lectures, how you can access some um, existing data from the origin data, data archive. Um, so the next step is this is a global data. So I want to subset it to a country level. So the variable Ethiopia, country, 
countries. I'll filter this um, countries database um, by a subset um, country shape file. So filter, EE filter. I have to make this capital and then equal. And then I'll specify the name of that country. But first, I'll open a, a quotation and specify the name of that property that I want to filter. Country and name means the name of the country. And then I'll mention the country that I'm interested. In this case, it's um, state boundary for Ethiopia. Okay. And then I need a semicolon um, because it's a JavaScript API. And then I think I need um, to I've done some error here, so I have to fix that. Why is it showing? So this is showing some error. I have to fix some error. So filter equal and country NA Ethiopia countries. What's the error here? We have one bracket, two bracket, and it should be two bracket. That's fine. And let's just, um, shouldn't matter actually, but let's change it to single quotation. And what do we have here? Let's make sure that we have, we don't have a typo here. Just copy paste that. Okay. And filter. So we have already the, the country state is imported here. And the next thing is to um, import elevation. So import elevation data or DEM, digital elevation model. DEM is digital elevation model. That's a, an altitude data, uh, a digital data. And to import that, I declare a variable called DEM. And then EE image. So EE image will import an image from the Earth Engine data library, USGS slash SRTM GL1 underscore 003. You can get this from Earth Engine, so don't worry about the name. And the next thing is to create some sort of visualization parameters, so just coloring and things like that. So set visualization parameter okay and then I'll declare a variable called var and then this par I'll actually say these parameters is equal to and I'll open a curly bracket and I think I need a semicolon at the end of that statement and then I'll define the minimum value as zero. In this case, I'll create a comma and the maximum value is 4,000. You can get this from your own data. So the elevation data that I'm importing has a minimum and a maximum value of uh, zero and 4,000 respectively. So that's why, um, that's how I get this data, okay? And the last thing um, is to uh, provide the palette, the colors, the different colors that I want to visualize. Um, you know, mind you, for this, you don't have to worry about the color codes. Uh, let me start it first, palette. So for palette, you need a list of color codes, okay? For example, my first color code is, I already know this, so 3-3. Three, three. And my second color code. So mind you, don't worry about this. If you're interested, you can go to Color Brewer and you can grab any color that you're interested in. Just, you know, copy this color code and then put it here. So you don't have to memorize or worry about, you know, the different colors, okay? So the next color that I'm interested to plot my digital elevation model map is this one. And my next color is Um, a, let me just um, open a single quotation, and then next color is D8, D, 
A D A. And then again a quotation, a single quotation here. And the last color code is let me open a single quotation again. F5, F5 again, F5. And I'll just um, close my curly bracket. So this will create the visualization parameter. We have provided a minimum and a maximum value and the different colors um, when we visualize the map. And then finally, the fun part is to actually map the data. So to do that, let's create a title called, uh, let's create a title called display. Since we are displaying our uh, DM data, right? The DM data, okay. And then map add layer is um, a parameter on uh, Earth Engine that helps you map your data. This has to be capital actually. And then you can input anything here, you'll be able to display, okay? So DEM, and then I'll clip it actually, since it's a global data, I just wanna make it smaller. So by Ethiopia, so mind you, Ethiopia, I already have a shape file here, boundary um, for Ethiopia. So we'll technically use that to clip this data. And then update mask so that it will just give me the area. Uh, it will it will clear the area that's um, outside of this this data. DM get okay. all right. So if I don't do this, what it what is what it, what it will do is that it will just um, make um, make the area outside of this shape file or Ethiopia dark. So I don't want it that. So by doing you know update mask that that will avoid it. Okay, and then I'll also call my visualization parameter here. And and the last thing is um, once I execute this code, it will show up here. So I just want a name like so that I remember it. So let me give it a name like DEM, okay? And then finally close the bracket and then uh, you can save your code here and then just execute. You can see um, the elevation data uh, displayed here if when I do that. Run, here you go. So it will execute that. Um, and one final thing is just you want to change the zoom level um, center object Ethiopia and then the zoom level I'll just uh, put it as six and this will adjust when I like when I zoom in when I execute that it will just zoom into my study area here so that will make it nicer to visualize okay so as I mentioned here the DEM uh, that I created here in, in the name of the, the map layer will show exactly as it is here, DEM, okay? So you can just um, check it and I check it. And these are the different colors that I created over here. So if you're interested, you can go to Color Brewer and, you know, experiment changing those, um, you know, colors here. So for example, if I change the colors from Color Brewer here, they will change automatically. Actually, let me change this to into four. And then if I change the colors here, that one, and the next one is here, I'll change this color code. And the third one is here. I'll change that. And Fifth one here, the fourth one rather, and I'll just remove this and execute that. Mind you, look at look at this color; it's just uh, green and brownish. Now, when I update that color palette, it should change. There you go. So now it's changing from you know yellow to 
or brown brown reddish and just uh, red for for mostly high elevation areas. So you can experiment that. You can you can change the different colors and um, change your visualization in the map canvas.